I will start my presentation with a question. What kind of seed do you think is this? To help you, I will give you some figures. In one plant, we have 100,000 single seeds. One seed is fertile for 100 years, and it belongs to a plant that lived on our planet for more than 100 million years. This is 15 times longer than every human being is on this planet. And you might know this plant very much. You might have played with it, with it as a child. It looks like the tail of a cat. Here you see the characteristic of the plant, and this gives the name. For us, more important are the leaves. And these leaves are two to three meters high. And if you are in such a natural stand, like here, you will be lost. It's like a forest. The cattail is very productive as a plant. He makes biomass up to 20 tons per hectare, and this is really incredible. And it's a regrowing plant. It's growing every year. You can harvest it every year without new seeding. The leaves, they are cut in winter when they are brown, and they are the basis of our company. Here you see a map of all the wetlands in the world. As the cattail is a water plant, it needs water. And you see that all these wetlands are spread all over the planet, and all the, also the cattail is. It's a global player. It's growing from Siberia to tropical uh, countries. And so, the use of the cattail is also a global business. Our company, Naporo, is based in Austria. My name is Robert Schwemmer. I'm the crazy guy behind this who wants to use the cattail to 110%. We were found in 2009, incubated by a high-tech incubator, tech to be in Linz. We have filed several patents, and we managed to find a basic investor, Anke investor, um, who was interested in our technology, and that's the America-based company 3M. The technology we, yeah, we, we invented was awarded several times. We got some local awards in Austria, but also last week this uh, award for the biomaterial of the, year, of the year in Cologne. Our core competence is the processing of natural fibers from the fiber up to a non-woven material. We are using, for sure, the cattail. This is our basic business. But also, we are using hemp and flax. We are mixing this material up and making non-wovens. These non-wovens are used for insulation, for thermal and acoustic insulation. But they are also used as a pre-product for maybe um, the furniture and the automotive industry. If you compare the, flag, uh, the, the hemp and the cattail, there are parallels, but there are also differences. The parallel is that both plants are fiber plants. In the hemp, you have 10 to 20 percent of fibers. In the cattail, you have even more, 20 to 30 percent of fibers. The rest of the hemp is mainly shives. This is something like wood and not very interesting for an industrial process. In the cattail, you have this, this sponge material inside. And this is very good for acoustic and thermal insulation. And it's given by nature. We don't have to process it. We only cut the plant, and then we have the insulation. And there is a third ingredient that is very interesting. There are oils and waxes in the plant. And these oils and waxes can be used as a natural glue. This is what we call the net glue technology. Here you see some applications of the material. And it's not only a global player from the raw material side, it's also a global player from the application side. You can make paper out of it, for example. You can make the insulation mats out of it, and you can make the hot molded parts for the automotive industry. These three applications you can also do with hemp. But the rest on this slide is only 
to do with the cattails. We can do, use it for very light construction materials. We can use it for particle board, which is a really mass market. And we can make bioethanol out of the cattails. You see, it's a plant that is growing all around the world, that can be used all around the world, and it's also a very cost-effective material. Here you see the fiber price from hemp, flax, and from wood fibers compared to our fibers. Number two is the flax. This price was exploding in the last year, coming from 660 euros for one ton, going up to more than 1,000 euros for one ton. The hemp price was relatively stable, but we see at the moment that the price is rising by 20%. We managed to bring down our price from 600 to 300 euros for one ton. And this is a really advantage for this new material. As we, are, we use a new material, we have to control the whole value chain, from the harvest of the material until the processing, until the distribution that we do with our partners. And this is very important for us, and this is an advantage um, to all the other materials, like the hemp and the flax. Our initial applications for the material are the, um, the insulation materials. And out of these different insulation materials, I want to present you one in more detail. For the exterior wall insulation, mainly styrofoam is used. This is very common, and everybody of you might know a picture like this. But the styrofoam has different disadvantages. Let me say it like this. The material is very light, and so the facades are becoming green because algae are growing on it. It's highly inflammable, and there is a huge discussion about the use of the styrofoam. In Belgium, for example, the insurances are not insuring houses that are insulated with this material. And in the end, it's not easy to get rid of this material. So many of our customers are asking us, are there any alternatives to this material? What we did, we worked together with the Austrian market leader for this exterior wall insulations. It's the company called Kappatect. They are part of a German, uh, a German company, and this elephant you might know very well. And our material is, a, uh, is not a lightweight material. It has a high mass so that no algae are growing on it. It is a high fire resistance, and it's based on natural raw materials. This material we are producing with a production partner in Czech Republic at the moment. And what we do, what we want to do, um, is installing in the end of this year our own production line. With this production line, we can have sales, a sales target in three years from, of 30 million euros, and with a second line beside this, we can double this in five years. The initial investment in our company in the A round was done by 3M. And now we are looking for partners to bring something forward, what we call Naporo 360, that this means that the cattail business is a global business, 360 degrees all around the world. And you can be one part of this. Thank you. Perfect. Do you have a question for Robert, Benny? Uh, you present non-woven mats as insulation material. What about the compression strength? Compression strengths. So, oh, it's a flexible material, uh -huh. basically, but we can compress it down to 100 kilo for one cubic meter, and this is the material we use on the walls. And the mechanical properties of these materials are the best of all insulation materials for walls. It's very much better than the styrofoam. It's better than uh, the mineral wool. And this is very important for using it on the wall, because if you, if you hit the wall, you will have a problem. Uh, you will damage it. With our material, you do not damage it. And if you clap on it, 
the styrofoam might make something like tok tok tok. It's it's a very uh, it's not a very quality that you hear that you really hear. And this is also in interesting concerning birds, for example. They are birds. They are making their nest inside the insulation material, but not with our material. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Let's you.